So yesterday I left the car with 9.4 amp with 9.4 amp hours here, which was uh, 26. Yeah, there was 26.9. There was 26.5 um, percent state of charge. So fairly down. Hooked it up at um, 11 11 p.m. or so last night. Turned on the charge. Seven hours 41 minutes and over 10 kilowatt hours charged into the battery so far still going so our charging time was eight hours and 10.4 kilowatt hours into the battery All right, folks, and welcome back. At at news Nuski at at Nuski has subscribed to your channel. Thank you, at at Nuski. Welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV Australia. Sunny hot, I was just going to say, but it's not. It's only 23 degrees. Look at this, beautiful. Expected 30 today. 28.1 ampere hour since last usage. 106 so you see it's close to 38 ampere hours and it was on 26.5 or so so 38 ampere hours is the current capacity of the battery it looks like <laughs> So Monday morning, so I'm not driving to work this morning. I will bring the car to the workshop. Uh, the next three days it will be in the workshop to get the bonnet repaired. We had this, um, whatever it was, branch, kangaroo, whatever hits my bonnet, I don't know. But the repair day has finally come. A work colleague will give me a lift home tonight and tomorrow I will take my wife's car. So we will do some efficiency testing on the Kia Rio. Six speed manual, great efficiency. And on Wednesday I get a lift to work from my work colleague again. And then I pick up the PHEV again with a perfectly repaired bonnet, I hope. Yeah, we have used these guys, these repairs before for my wife's car, there was a, um, a timber was falling over in the in the shed where she parks and smacked on the top roof between the A and B pillar left a, an ugly dent in there so we got this repaired as well with them and absolutely stunning so I've got good so I'm, I'm very confident that they are doing a great job So the UQ overpass and we have used 6.8 ampere hours, <laughs> smashed it this morning, uh, I'm late. The repairer is only a few kilometers away from where I work so it's very convenient to actually leave the car there. I fully charged it this morning because it doesn't get any charge for the next couple of days I would say. So the car will be, so the car will be sitting at the repairer side with a 60% state of charge battery so in optimal condition basically and I don't need to worry about anything happening to the new battery and as you can see we are down to 35 ampere hours which is a 92.4% state of health so it has dropped a couple of times I haven't filmed this because you've seen this so many times now but it keeps dropping so the but uh, next week Monday I will have an appointment with my local Mitsubishi dealer here and the car goes in for the triple procedure then which I'm very excited about so one week to go until we get the triple procedure and then the fun begins um, I have yeah we need to develop some strategies to actually measure degradation then the state of health on the dog will not change for a long time I think at least this is my expectation but I don't know because the battery is now already two months in use 
so it may not go up to 40 amp hours anymore there might be some natural degradation already I have driven uh, 2800 kilometers around since then since the battery replacement and the state of health may not be at 100% anymore which is 40 amp hours so it will be very exciting next week so let's see what's happened so we have arrived now with 72.6% uh, state of charge we leave the car here with um, 82,735 kilometers 25 kilometers on the GOM uh, yeah, I'll leave this one as it run as it is okay let's bring the car in Thank you, see you Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Diesel one, eh? No, electric. Oh, electric! Oh, yeah, yes. there is an electric vehicle. No noise. <laughs> yeah. No noise. <laughs> So don't worry when you start it up, it doesn't make any sound. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're talking about um, making stuff that make the sound on these cars now. Yeah, it has this in built in, but you turn it off all the time. It's oh, just yeah. annoying, yeah. It makes this little artificial sound, you know, under yeah. under 15 kilometers or so. Right. Yeah. Apparently pedestrians are walking out in front of them. Well, if they're but just relying on their ears. You know, they, they, you know what they're doing though? They're yeah. on their phones. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, they walk exactly straight right. across, they don't even check the lights to yeah. see if they're supposed to walk across the road or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One good thing, the SUVs are nice and high off the ground, they don't bottom out like the cars. No, do. that's right, yeah. Got a lift from one of the work colleagues. Many hours later. What? This is, this is my lift. This is it. This is as good as you walk. You, you can actually vacuum this dust here. <laughs> as I'm told all the time, it's her car. Is it? That's your car back? Yeah. What? Well, hey, hang on. Is, is this a hair? What is a hair? Can I find it? Oh, God. Gross. What's that? <laughs> what? It's only bloody paper. Mm -hmm. You cleaned up your nose this morning with it? Or wiped your whatever with it? Your car in the shop or is it getting Yeah no it has a dent in the bonnet for the front oh. so yeah get this fixed. This car, wife's car or your no, car? No mine. Where did you get a dent in the shop? I have no idea, I've no freaking no idea. Ah. 3000 RPMs. <laughs> That's all it's got. Is good? She runs on the smell of an oily rag. <laughs> That's about all that's left in it. Yeah, yours top. is good. Yeah. Mine's good on petrol. Is it? That was the worst storm that was ever been. That is amazing technology. <laughs> so this, is, this goes round and the other one goes up and down. <laughs> yeah, I can electric gate now. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm rolling the money away. Look at this shit, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look at this <laughs> shit <laughs> here. And solar powered. Someone holding the door for me? No, nobody does. We rigged the board. Oh, wait. Oh, God. It's not an SUV, huh? You need to. <laughs> Are you coming to the front? Hey, guys. See you, dude. Thanks for the lift. So, I'm back home, of course. Thanks, Joel, for giving me a lift. I did some calculations with the figures I measured this morning while charging the car and the result is just <clears throat> mind-blowing. Have a look at this. So this morning we measured 10.4 kilowatt hours charged into the car and if we consider 15% charger and heat loss we've got a remaining 8.84 kilowatt hours into the battery. This amount goes into the battery. So if we now consider that our battery has a bottom level of 26% and a top level of 10%, so in this case we had a remaining capacity of 46%, which is our 8.84 kilowatt hours. So, and if 8.84 kilowatt hours is 64%, we've got 13.8 kilowatt hours as 100%. So, 
So have a look at this number. 13.8 kilowatt hours is the total capacity of the battery. This goes from here to here. This is 100% 13.8 kilowatt hours. Do you recognize this number? Guys, this can only mean one thing. They have installed the 2019 battery in my PHEV. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged. We will see us in the next video soon. Bye. <laughs>